I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from previous year's papers. We'll talk about circles and tangents in this particular video. I have six questions for you and I'll also explain you the complete concept to solve such questions. Let's go through these questions first. Question number one. From an external point P, tangent PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. If the angle APB equals to 50 degrees, that means this angle is 50 degrees, find the angle ABO. Find the angle ABO. So that is what you need to find. Four choices are given to you. Right? Question number two. So first part is kind of similar. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. Now the question changes. If the angle PAB, that means P, A and B, this angle is given to us, is 50 degrees, find the angle AOB. You have to find this angle, right? Again, four choices are given to you. Question number three. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. Find the length of the chord AB if AP equals to 6 centimeters. We are given this side as 6 centimeters. And the angle APB, so APB is 60 degrees. So we need to find the length of the chord AB. Question number 4. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O if the angle APB equals to 120 degrees. So clearly the drawings are not to the scale, right? Find the ratio of OP to PA, right? So we need to find what is the ratio of OP to PA. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions, correct? Question number five. AB is the diameter of the circle with center O and tangent PQ is given to you, right? If angle BOC, that means this angle, is 62 degrees, find the angle AQB. So you have to find this angle AQB. Right? Four choices are given to you. The last question here is from an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circles with center O. Find angle AQB, AQB, this angle if the angle APB is equal to 70 degrees. The last question in this series is question number 7. This is a bonus question for you. I'd like you to pause the video answer this question. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. If chord length AB is 16 centimeters, so A to B is given to us as 16 centimeters, and the radius is 10, so this is 10 each. Find the length PA, so we have to find this length PA. So I hope you find these questions interesting. You can always pause the video, answer these questions. We'll begin with their solution now. To start with, let me talk about basic concepts. As you have seen in all these questions, we have kind of a similar situation. We have a circle with center O, external point P, from where we have drawn two tangents to the circle, label them as A and B. Joining A and B, we get a chord, right? So that is what you've seen in most of the questions. Let's try to understand this figure first. So whenever we have radius and a tangent, then 
it forms 90 degrees. So this angle always is 90 degrees. So in such a situation, we know that the radius will form 90 degrees. So we know that the angle OAP will be equal to angle OBP, right? So that side also it has to be 90 since it makes a linear pair, right? So, so angle OBP and this is equal to 90 degrees. So that is one thing you see. Now if I join O and P with a line segment, in that case what you notice is the length P to A. Now since this is this is right angle that becomes the hypotenuse, correct? So the length P to A should be equal to P O square or O P square minus OA square. Or let me write the square of this is using Pythagorean theorem, right? Similarly, the length PB square will also be equal to OP square minus OB square, right? Now, OA and OB are equal. We know that OA equals to OB and both are equal to the radius and that means that PA is equal to PB. Right. So always the length of these two tangents is equal. Correct. Now we have a common side here. This is common. The radius are equal. So we also know that the triangle PAO is equal to congruent, I should say, to triangle PBO. So these two triangles are congruent, correct? Now if these two triangles are congruent, we know that the angle APO should be equal to angle BPO. Right? So we also know that these two angles are also equal. Right? Correct. So, so many properties we get from the given situation. Now, let's look into the quadrilateral. That is, uh, the quadrilateral PAOB. So, in this quadrilateral PAOB, sum of angles should be how much? 360, right? Two triangles. Correct. So, so we know in this quadrilateral, the sum of angle PAO plus angle OPB plus angle PBO plus angle P, uh, I have to write PAO is equal to 360 degrees. Correct. Now, out of this, these two angles are 90 degrees. Perfect. These two angles are 90 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the angles which are made at O and P, I mean this angle and this angle we are talking about. So, so that implies that the, the sum of angles, let me write here, angle APB plus angle AOB is always equal to 180 degrees. Now, this is extremely important. Correct. So, we are not going to explain all this in solving those questions, but that is what you should know. Perfect. Now, let me add something more to this. If I am adding a uh, if I'm trying to find another angle with a point on the circle, let's call this angle as, uh, let's call this point as, uh, as let's say X. Okay. So in that case, you will also note that the angle AOB and AXB both are for this particular part of the arc, right? So both are at for the same arc. Now this is at the center and that is on 
the periphery of this circle. So they are also related and we know that the angle AOB is actually two times the angle AXB. So that is another very important relation regarding angles which you should understand. Is that clear? Now all these things will help us answer the questions which we had gone through. So I hope that makes sense. Correct? Now let's take up the solutions of these questions one by one. So I hope that concept is clear. Perfect. Question number one. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle O. If the angle APB equals to 50 degrees, find the angle ABO, right? So what we just learned is this is a quadrilateral, right? In which here we have a right angle and the right angle right there. Some of these angles are 360 degrees in a quadrilateral. So therefore, the sum of angle APB plus angle AOB is always equal to 180 degrees. Since this 90 and 90 is 180, so you take away that 180, you are left with these two angles. Their sum should also be 180, right? Now we are given this one of these angles as 50. So we have 50 degrees plus angle AOB, which we need to find, okay, should be 180 degrees minus 50, right? So angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. That gives us 130 degrees. So now we know that this angle here is 130 degrees. But what we need to find is those smaller angles. Perfect. We also know that this is the radius. So these two sides are equal. So we have an isosceles triangle, right? Triangle AOB. So therefore, we have the angle at A, right? And the smaller angles, that is to say, I can say ABO plus angle BAO plus angle AOB should be equal to 180 degrees, correct? Now these two angles are equal. So we can write two times angle ABO. So that is sum of these two plus the angle which we just found is 130 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees. Perfect. So that gives you what? That gives you that 2 times angle ABO is equal to 180 minus 130, which is same as 50 degrees. Do you see that? So therefore, this small angle, angle ABO, which we need to figure out is half of 50, which is 25 degrees. So we get the answer D. 25 degrees. Do you understand? So straightforward, that angle here makes sum with 50 is 180. So angle at O should be 180 minus 50, so it is 130. Now in this isosceles triangle, those two angles should be equal. So we have the sum as 180. Perfect. So the sum of these two angles is same as 50. Do you see that part? And therefore, each angle is 25 degrees. So these angles are half of that angle. So in your test, if you have a multiple choice, that is so easy to figure out now, right? So that is the basic concept. Let's move on. Take the next question. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. If the angle PAB is 50 degrees, find the angle AOB. So now we have to find this angle AOB. Now that could be easily found because tangent and the radius makes 90 degrees angle. Correct? Is that okay? Since it makes 90 degrees angle, angle BAO, that means this smaller angle, 
BAO should be equal to 90 degrees minus 50 degrees. Correct? So that is equal to 40 degrees. Does it make sense to you? So this angle is 40. Now isosceles triangle, so that is also equal to 40. And we also know that angle B, which is ABO, is also equal to 40 degrees, right? Therefore, angle AOB should be equals to 180 degrees minus 2 times 40 degrees, correct? Or 80 degrees. So it get 100 degrees as our answer. So it is B, which is 100 degrees. Clear? So that is how you could actually answer this question very easily. Question number 3. From an external point P, tangents PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. Find the length of the chord AB. And if, so we have to find what this AB is, right? So this is the length which we need to figure out. We are given AP equals to 6 centimeters and the angle APB is 60 degrees. Now, from the previous examples, we learned that if this is 60 degrees, then this angle should be how much? This angle should be 120 degrees, right? Because their sum is 180, correct? Their sum is 180, right? We know angle APB plus angle AOB equals to 180 degrees, and therefore, angle AOB is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees which is 120 degrees perfect now we need to find what this angle is so what we do first is we find the smaller angles let me find these smaller angles since this is 120 and this is an isosceles triangle we know that the angle OAB is equal to 180 minus 120 that is the sum of these two divided by 2 correct so that gives us 60 divided by 2 or 30 degrees so these angles here are 30 degrees each perfect the angle PAB should be how much so the angle PAB should be equal to 90 degrees minus angle BAO which is 90 degrees minus 30 degrees so that is equal to 60 degrees so this angle is also 60 degrees that should be also 60 degrees so what we have here is an equilateral triangle right so so that gives you that the triangle PAB is an equilateral triangle very important proof right that shows that the chord AB should also be equal to 6 centimeters so the choice D is the right choice but that goes to prove why in this case we have an equilateral triangle perfect only because this angle was 60 degrees if this angle was different then those angles will be different and you may have to use trigonometry to find the length of the chord, okay? Question number four. From an external point P, tangent PA and PB are drawn to the circle with center O. If the angle APB is 120 degrees, find the ratio of OP to PA. So we need to find this ratio, OP to PA. So if you look into these triangles, radius will always make 90 degrees with the tangent right so what we have here we have a right triangle right triangle p a o now in this particular triangle what is the angle now these two angles are equal so they have to be half of 120 so from here we know the angle a p o is equal to half of 120 degrees correct which is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees 
So we have a right triangle with 60 degrees, right? So can we use trigonometric ratios? Yes, so we are going to use trigonometry. Right, so we are given angle 90 degrees, hypotenuse, and PA is adjacent side. So if it is adjacent side, we could use cosine. So what is cos of 60 degrees? Will be adjacent side over hypotenuse. which is PA over the hypotenuse, which is OP. Now, what is cos of 60 degrees? You can use the calculator or the special triangle, correct? So, let me just draw this special triangle here. We'll find what is cos 60 degrees. So, this is 60 degrees. Side lengths are 1, 2 and square root 3. Cos of 60 is this ratio, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. So this is equal to 1 over 2. Is that clear? Right. So that is the ratio of PA to OP. So what is we want OP to PA, correct? We want OP to PA. So from here, we know what is OP to PA equals to. It will be flip it, right? 2 over 1. Or we can say that the ratio OP to PA is equal to 2 is to 1, correct? So option C is the right option. Does it make sense? So that is how you can solve this particular question. So at times, trigonometry may be involved. So you see how we move from very simple examples to slightly complicated. Now let's take a break, digest all this, wash some Canadian nature, and then move forward, okay? Question number five. AB is the diameter of a circle with center O and the tangent PQ is given to us, right? If angle BOC, BOC is 62 degrees, find the angle AQB, right? So that's the question. Now here we are going to use another property of circles and that is we know the angle BOC is on this arc BC. So you will see the arc BC here. So bar arc BC makes an angle of 62 degrees at center. So, so the same R will make how much angle at point A? It has to be half of this. That is the property you learn. And therefore, we can say angle B AC should be half of 62 degrees, right? So, which is 31 degrees. So, we get this angle as 31 degrees. Perfect. Now, you look into the triangle ABQ. Now, in this triangle ABQ, we know that this angle is 90 degrees. Perfect. Some of these angles should be 180, correct? So we know in this 
angle AQB should be equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is this angle, minus the angle at A, which is 31 degrees. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we find our answer. Perfect. So that is 90 minus this 90 degrees minus 31. And when you take away from 10 and then from 8, 8 take away 5, 3 is 5. So you get 59 degrees, which is option D. Correct. So this is slightly tricky. We are using another property. And the property here is that the R substance twice the angle at the center than at any point on the periphery of the circle right so that is what we have used here question number six is actually a bonus question for you it says from an external point p tangent p a and p b are drawn to the circle with o center find angle a q b a q b if the angle APB, APB is 70 degrees, right? So, now we'll use our learnings. We know this angle should be how much? Angle AOB should be equal to 180 degrees take away 70, right? So, that is 110 degrees. Very simple. Now, this angle is on the same arc. So it has to be half, correct? So using another property, so we get angle AQB is half of 110 degrees. You get the idea, right? So, so when you divide 2 times 5 and 10, 5, 55 degrees, option B. So now once you understand all these properties linked with circle and tangent, the questions become that simple, right? So these are actually not so simple, but since you know all the properties, it becomes extremely easy to answer them. It doesn't take few seconds to answer. But here is really a difficult one. Now the question here is that from an external point P, tangents P A and P B are drawn to the circle with center O. If the chord length A B so A to B is given to you as 16 centimeter and the radius is 10 centimeter. Find the length P to A. So we need to find the length of uh, that tangent, right? External point to the point on the circle makes. That is what you need to figure out. Now we need to do some construction. Let's join uh, P to O. And we know when we do that, these two are exactly same triangles, they are congruent triangles, so they are going to divide each side equally. Now this total was 16, so each individual is 8 and we have 10 here, correct? Now we have a right angle here, correct? Okay, so we can find, let's label this point as, let's say Q, so I am labeling this point as Q. So, so we can find what QO is. So QO is equal to, so square of hypotenuse, which is 10 minus other side 8 square root. So that much is OQ, right? So we get this as 100 minus 64 square root, which is uh, 36. So we get 6 as our answer. So QO is 6. Let's say this side is X for us. So let PQ equals to X. Now, so we know PQ is X. We need to find what PA is. So PA, let me write here. PA, let's write PA square will be equal to the hypotenuse square minus radius square, right? So which is X plus 6 whole square minus 10 square. So that is PA square equals 2, right? So that is one way uh, we know what PA is. Now in this, how do we calculate X? And X is also unknown to us, right? So how do we replace X with something else 
so that we can find what P A is. So is there any other way of writing P A? Okay, let's look into the triangle. So let's also look into a different triangle. That is to say, we'll look into the triangle P A Q, right? So triangle P A Q. So in triangle P A Q, we know we can now write that becomes the hypotenuse. So now P A square is equal to X square plus 8 square. Do you see that part? So in that smaller triangle, P A square, P A is the hypotenuse, is equal to X square plus 8 square. So we can replace this here, right? So what we get here is X square plus 8 square equals to all this, which is, let us expand this, right? So if I expand, I get x square plus 2ab, which is 12x, plus 6 square, which is 36, minus 100. Now, x square, x square cancels, and we have equation in x, we can now solve it, correct? Those numbers, uh, so 100 minus 36 plus 8 square, which is 64, is equal to 12x, correct? So that is what we get. We can use a calculator to solve this. Uh, so x will be equal to 100 minus 36 is again 64. So let me write this as 64 times 2, right? So, so 8, 128 divided by 12, okay? So equal to like this a bit, dividing both by 4, we get this as 3 and 4 times uh, 3 is 12 and 32 right so we get 32 over 3 as the value of x correct okay now let's find what p a square is so p a square is equal to 32 over 3 whole square plus 8 square right so p a is equal to square root of all this right so it is 32 over 3 whole square plus 8 square square root. So we'll now use calculator to find. So the first fraction here is uh, 32 divided by 3 and we'll square this. Add to 8 square. That gives you a number which is, so we have square root of 1600 over 9. Okay. So 1600 over 9, we'll do square root of this answer and we get 40 over 3, which is in decimals equal to 13.3, clear? So we get close to 13. So these are in whole numbers. So option D is the right option. Do you see that? So that is how you're going to answer this particular question. I hope that helps. So, we had good examples where circle and tangent were used. Similar kind of questions, I clubbed them together so that you get the whole picture. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know about your views and suggestions. If you have questions, please post them. Share my videos with your friends and if you like them and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.